Scientists are developing a replacement for rubber here at the University of Minnesota's Center for Sustainable Polymers. So we want to look for rubbery materials, things that are stretchy, that are elastic, that can be extended and they snap right back. This process starts with starch from corn. Chemists can synthesize the polymer in the lab, dry it, and then mold it. Once we form some of the rubbers that we use today, we can't reprocess them. They can just be ground up and make the playground rubber material. But this you can melt and reprocess and reuse it. And it's compostable. That's what we strive for, right? Because we don't want to have our ocean filled with plastics. So why aren't materials like this in all of our shoes already? So I oftentimes joke that my lab has produced a lot of materials that have interesting and exciting properties, but nobody really cares about them. That's because the bioplastics in this lab are still relatively expensive to produce, especially now with oil prices so low. The unfortunate reality is that consumers like you will not pay a premium for bio-renewability or degradability, or not much of a premium. An ideal bioplastic would not only look and perform as well as petroleum-based plastics, it'd be just as cheap and easy to produce. It probably won't look any different. I'll still grab the bag to put my fruit in at the grocery store, except it'll be from bio-based feedstocks. And except when I throw it away, It'll have a facile route to decomposition to give environmentally innocuous byproducts. If this lab succeeds, a better world might look a lot like the one we already live in. <laughs>